Hi, welcome to my reflection. I'm Colette Mazzola Randalls, and this reflection is on researching technology enhanced network learning, teaching, and assessment. So, network learning. After doing some reading, I compiled a list of buzzwords that jumped out at me. As you can see, these are on the screen. So, network learning is defined as learning in which information and communication technology is used to promote connections. Connections between learner to learner, learner to teacher and between a learning community and its resources. So this can be synchronous or asynchronous. So learning theories. So the learning theory that I'm going to talk about is connectivism. The concept of students as producers is essential to extrapolate different experiences and provide a deeper critique of the learning. In my experience, using Microsoft Teams as a technological co-agent has supported the learning regardless of place, or time zone. I feel that there is a need to reimagine the educational system to incorporate digital. An interesting piece of research I found from George Siemens, his podcast was about discussing reimagining the educational system to allow people from all different walks of life to use their past experiences towards their personal learning graph. He feels that the process of learning needs to change and incorporate the digitization of learning. I'm not 100% savvy on his logistics to do this, but all in all, it is an interesting case. Learning environment. The learning environment should be designed to foster co-construction of knowledge and meaning. Software has evolved to support this by facilitating a standard approach to sharing and inviting people to communicate and collaborate on documents. At the same time, the learning environment should foster each individual self-regulatory, sustainable learning. So is learning collective or individual? To answer this question, learning is not only a collective or an individual activity. Learning depends on the goal, environment, dynamics, purpose, learners and a variety of other factors. Hence, it is messy. Phenomenology supports the study of direct experience taken at face value and phenomenological research can assist in filling gaps in understanding. Its main objective is to arrive at a description of a particular phenomenon. To finish on a quote, Sarah Davis in 2017 stated, So the question every institutional leader should be asking is, how can technology help institutions achieve its mission? How can we innovate to help students and how do we reboot learning in the digital age?